have you been involved in sailboats for very long? No. Just no. with this project? This is my brother. This is my brother's. Sailboat racing and instruction, as well as working on super yachts, has taught me the basics of boat maintenance, but I've never had to be knowledgeable about every aspect of a sailboat's construction and condition. To augment my insufficient knowledge, I've been tirelessly studying, reading books, magazines, and online forums, and now I feel only mildly unqualified for the task of surveying a 51-year-old sailboat. I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous. I just wanna make sure that I'm not getting into something that would cost me like way more than it's worth to get it up and running. Right. The Allied Boat Company constructed fiberglass boats in Catskill, New York from 1962 to 1981, the first of which was the Sea Wind 30, designed by Thomas Gilmore and which was destined to be the first fiberglass hull to circumnavigate the globe. This voyage was made by Alan Eddy in 1963 with hole number one, the same year that the Seawolf, hole number 33, was constructed. Since that time, eight other sea winds have circumnavigated the globe successfully, making this classic but sturdy design a tried and tested blue water boat. This is where we would sleep. Smaller than I thought. I have my list. That's not okay because that's, that's a really important to the structural integrity. Of the of the boat, right there, you can see uh, that there's um, a crack in the fiberglass on the bulkhead, on the aft main bulkhead. Essentially, I mean that's the biggest problem I've found because we're gonna have to, like, I I guess cut that out and fiberglass in a new piece. And I, I I've never read about that. One of those holes that they never fix, they just put sealant in it. Too big for my bed. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, the, the thing is, is I knew there was going to be problems. Fatty said, look for a boat with lots of problems. You can fix them. The, the, I'm wondering if there's a line there. There's too many problems. Yeah. Like, this is exactly what they want. As long as you like it. I like it. You like it? I like it. Okay. Your vision is his vision. Yeah. And, and his love of this boat is, you know, it would, yeah. Hello, Scott. Yeah, it is it is a, a very cool boat. I like it a lot. There, There is a little more uh, damage than I think we had really discussed with in regards to the bulkheads. That's got some uh, some rot in the wood uh, where the where the bilge tends to fill up with water, and uh, there's a there's a crack in the fiberglass. Long story short, I I, I inspected it and I, that's that's a job that is um, bigger than just what we had discussed. So I wanted to talk to you about price. I wanted to talk to you about what, what your bottom line might be and see what we could do. So what I would like to do is to give you a deposit and then in the next couple days, um, have someone look at it as soon as I can get somebody. Great. Okay, good. Well, that's good news. All right, well, I'll give you back to Lisa then, Scott. Okay, 
well, this is uh, definitely the next step in Project Atticus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, uh, for better or worse, own this boat now. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna not worry too much about it, and we're just gonna be really happy today. And uh, I'm very happy. Are you very happy? Um, we've got a lot of work to do. A whole lot of work to do. But we just bought it for $5,500, um, which is not a lot for a 30-foot boat that can sail the world. Um, it's just going to take a lot of work. Um, but that's all right. We expected that. Welcome aboard the, the Sea Wolf, soon to be named the Atticus. Thank <laughs> you.